town to fishing. We're going to try a different spot. We've been fishing almost every day, but it's almost all been in just one location near the house. So we're going to go across the fjord here and try a different spot. And also I'm going to get to experience driving in Norway. I should get my sunglasses on. It's 8.15 at night and it's still really bright of course. I'm glad that with driving it's right hand drive, same as the US. Don't have to try to get used to that, that gets difficult. So that makes everything easier. It seems the signs are all different here, the road signs. Uh, I had to kind of study that out and figure out what's what because it kind of didn't make sense at first, but it's pretty simple after a while. The typical speed limit here on semi-major roads, not highways, but is about 50 kilometers an hour which is like between 25 and 30 in miles per hour. Two states speed limits. This would probably be 45 miles an hour, I would guess here. Um, some of it might be 35, but it makes a big difference. When my wife first tried driving here, she really had to remind herself not to drive too fast because Again, 50 it seems like snail's pace to us compared to what we normally drive. They've got a little roundabout coming up here. It, I, it's basically a four-way intersection. I'll turn right at the, yes. at the light up there, yeah. Right. Every day they have like a couple cruise ships come in here and drop a whole bunch of people off. There's one giant one right there. Some of them are really huge. We're going to go fishing over here along these docks. The water is deeper over there and the fish like to get up underneath there and hide. The last times we've gone fishing we were across the fjord kind of in sort of the suburbs of the area. Now we're right in the town proper and we're right next to this boat, so lots of people are loading up on the boat, it seems. I'm gonna be using these sinking type um, spoon baits. Uh, we might use another type, like a swimmer type. And he's trying to uh, see if shrimp will make the fish bite better. We'll, we'll give that a go, I don't know. <laughs> We had some nice people come by and save our fishing lure. We'll try not to do that again. <laughs> this is kind of a small town. Uh, Norwegians are often very, very friendly. It's really a nice place to visit and live. Um, and small towns are even more so. People are very reserved, however, but uh, 
whenever you get to talk to them a little bit, they're really friendly. I'm glad we recovered our lure because they're like three bucks or something. We caught a piece of trash and it had this creature, whatever that is on there. It looks like half lobster, half crab. Yeah. It's got claws here and it it acts like it has a tail whenever it tries to flip away but it doesn't seem to have one. We've got a cool little Viking ship here next to us. Well, we just caught our first fish, uh, mackerel. We weren't really catching anything, and so we decided to change locations. It's so beautiful and peaceful here. I, I bet the camera can't fully capture it, but all these hills and mountains all around us really beautiful big one <laughs> I got a big one Well, I caught a not very large pollock. Um, I guess we'll let this little guy go. Yeah. 